There is a beautiful and smiling lady who lives among us. She is our friend, Kathleen Wildwood. And we're all here tonight to honor Kathleen and to support her as she does what she describes as living out her dream. And we have just heard her play her harp and we will hear some more music and storytelling shortly. But I wanted to tell you a little bit about Kathleen. Kathleen was born in Abilene, started school in Fort Worth, went to grade school in Weatherford at Travis, went to junior high in San Angelo, high school in San Antonio, and college in Lubbock. So she's a Texan from all over. Her great-grandparents came to Parker County to Springtown in 1859 and 1874. Her grandparents and her mother and uncle were all born in Springtown, but they moved to Weatherford in 1921 to the house where Kathleen now lives. She lovingly cares for the flowers her grandfather planted 50, 60, and 70 years ago, including crocuses, iris, daffodils, hyacinths, and blue bonnets. Kathleen has loved to sing all of her life. She began learning to play the guitar when she was 35 and got her first harp in her 40s. Only 13 years ago, she had this harp specially made by Raphael Weissman in Cuesta, New Mexico. Storytelling comes naturally to Kathleen. She discovered the world of storytelling as an art form in 1994 and goes to schools and churches to share her unique and inspirational stories. All of her life, she has had a desire, a secret desire, to be the star on a stage. And tonight, she is fulfilling that dream. We welcome you all to witness her coming forth to share her gifts and talents. She thanks you for being here, and we all thank you for being here. So let's welcome her. <laughs> so much, Dorothy, for that wonderful introduction, and thank you for being here and being the one to introduce me. Um, Dorothy has known me all my life, and it was just really special that she would come and, and do that for me, and it's so special for me that each one of you would come and share this precious moment with me, and I thank each and every one that made it possible for me to rent this theater tonight and to have this unique experience of being a star on the stage. I would request that you hold the applause until the end. There may be times when you just burst into applause and that's okay, but I would like for you to just sit in silence and just take in the stories and the songs and the poems and watch the flow as one goes into the other. So again, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> 